Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, hey Bobby. Guys. What's for dinner? Oh, I'm making you your home run chicken. So when you go out there tonight, you can hit a couple good ones. <laughs> awesome. Can I help? Yeah, baby. What okay. can I do? Well, I'm going to show you right now. It goes into your magical chicken. My favorite dish is uh, fried chicken and beans, pretty much. I, uh, I grew up eating fried chicken and beans, you know, uh, since I was a little boy, and I just love it. Obviously, she cooked everything. Everything that she cooked, I love. I mean, Do you cooked. like rice, chicken, and beans because it helps you hit home runs? Now tell the truth. <laughs> that too, but, uh, you know, sancocho and platanos, everything pretty much uh, I love. Your aunt taught me that when I put sugar in the oil, when the sugar starts to brown, I'll know that the oil is ready to make, you know, to, to add the chicken to. So, so far, all I did was add your olive oil and your your sopita, which are your big bouillon cubes, like that. And a little bit of sugar. And a little bit of sugar. When she first met me, I think the first thing that my grandma told him before we got married is that she needed to learn how to cook <laughs> <laughs> my food, pretty much. Uh, well, I, I couldn't cook at first. I threw away all kinds of stuff. The important thing to remember um, when you're making dishes like uh, chicken and rice and beans, which is you know an everyday meal for somebody in the Dominican Republic, is they don't measure anything. As I had to learn how to cook, I had to just kind of guesstimate what, how much of the ingredients was going into the dishes. By now, 10 years later, I don't measure either. I just do what I do. I know by sight. The chicken, it's, I just used a whole chicken cut up. And we leave the bones in because in the Dominican, um, men eat bones they don't eat the bones but they, they just i mean the bone the bone in actually gives it a ton of flavor. flavor i prefer the bone in chickens um, and any kind of meat really with the bone in because it just helps the flavor now i can tell the guys that i watch you how to cook today so. <laughs> i mean next time i need to try it You know, when I first started making rice, remember when we, we were playing in Peoria, Illinois, and I threw away countless pans of rice? Do you want to cover this? No, you can leave it open. Yeah. We'll let it, we'll let it fall if they don't right. People laugh because I'm teaching them how to make rice, but I burnt Linear. and Linear. killed, I don't know how many pots of rice Linear. when I was learning how to make it. But really, you know, three cups of water to one cup of rice is typical. The beans, um, pretty much the same thing. I had a piece of bacon in there, and then I added my sauce on which is that marinade sauce. Uh, the only thing different I add to the beans were the calabaza, which is that West Indian pumpkin. If that's not available, you have your acorn squash. Any kind of squash really would be great in beans. When I go back to the Dominican, obviously, I enjoy to eat my food down there, but uh, obviously I get that here every day pretty much uh, to my wife. Uh, I mean, hers sometimes better than some of my aunts. Obviously, a lot of my aunts, they cook sancocho and different weights, you know, than, than Didi, but uh, uh, obviously, I take my wife's food every time, every day, at any time, you know. I came around today to help her out. I'm in a good mood today. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, uh, you know, when she's in the kitchen, obviously, that's, uh, that's her space. I leave her alone if she needs help. Uh, when she asks me, I, I'm more than welcome to help her out. But uh, when she's in the kitchen, I try to stay away because she's really trying to concentrate on what she's doing and making sure that uh, she makes the food the right way. because. She's not only feeding me, but she's feeding a bunch of ball players on the other side, you know, a bunch of my friends. So uh, she want to make sure she do it right, which is, she's always do it perfect. I can close my eye and going back to years ago when she didn't know how to do all these dishes. And now it's, it's been a blessing, you not know, just for our marriage, but, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work. She puts a lot of hard work into the last 10 years and, and you know, it's, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have her as my wife, as uh, the mother of my kids, and uh, she's thinking about going to culinary school, and uh, I'm supporting her 100%. Want to pray? Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we just come before you. We thank you for this day, Lord, that you have created. We just thank you for this food.